let's quickly and easily create the best and ultimate multi-streaming setup so that you can multi-stream in both vertical and landscape mode from one client. And all we need to do this is get Streamlabs Ultra. Today we are using the paid version of Streamlabs. This is called Ultra. As I said, you can use my affiliate link to try this for $9 off the first month. There's plenty of benefits. They're listed on the website here, but the benefit that we are using for this one is the multi-streaming one. So go ahead and start by downloading Streamlabs desktop from the Streamlabs website. And before you actually open up Streamlabs, click dashboard in the top right corner or log in. Log in with the Streamlabs ID. And once you're logged in, in the bottom left corner, click onto settings and then find the account settings and the platform section. And just link the platforms that you can. We can link more platforms such as Instagram later on. Open up Streamlabs. And if you're not prompted to log in, in the bottom left corner, click the person icon and log in with your either Streamlabs ID, which I recommend, or your primary landscape streaming platform. And you'll be asked to select a primary platform. Again, choose a landscape one for this. For me, I'm gonna choose YouTube. So first of all, I've got two canvases, as you can see. To do that, click on the settings in the bottom left, click onto video, and check the enable dual output box. Copy these settings for horizontal, and copy these ones for vertical. Let's set up the stream now. Let's click into audio, underneath desktop audio, add your headset or speakers, underneath mic, add your mic. Next up, click onto output. I recommend a 6,000 bit rate. Note that it's actually gonna send two of these, a horizontal and a vertical one, so it's gonna send up to 12K, so a minimum of 15 meg of upload speed. That gives you a little bit of room for game upload and anything else you're uploading. Anyway, let's click onto stream. And you probably saw earlier, we linked most of these on the Streamlabs dashboard. Make sure you connect Instagram. It doesn't actually do much. It just talks about a stream key and a server URL. We'll get those later. And if you want to stream on YouTube Shorts and Landscape at the same time, add a separate destination. Name it YouTube Shorts like I've done and we'll get back to that on the go live section. Right, let's now add our display camera and some alerts. So you've probably got one scene on the left. Just right click it, rename. I've named mine gameplay scene and press done. And now let's start by adding our display, then camera, then alerts, as I said. Click plus underneath sources, click on display capture, click on add source. At this point, you probably won't have anything. You'll be prompted just to choose the name. I'm just going to leave mine as the default and press add source. I'll choose the correct source. I'll capture cursor and press done. I can now click on it and drag it around. It's already correctly placed in the horizontal output. In the vertical one, I'm going to place it at the bottom. I'm going to click to drag up. And now I'm going to right click transform and I'm going to center it horizontally to center it perfectly. If for some reason I wanted to hide it, again, I can click on it, hover over it and you see I can click either show in vertical or I can click show hide in horizontal and hide it or show it on either canvas. But I don't want to do that. So I'm now happy with the way it looks. Actually, I'm not happy. I'm just going to drag this up a little bit more. Now I'm happy and I'll lock it into place so I can't accidentally click on it. Now let's now move to adding our camera, which is called a video capture device. So you would just give it a name as per usual and underneath resolution FPS type, you usually have to set it to custom then make sure the resolution is on at least 1080p or 4K if you have it. FPS 30 or 60, I'm using my second low quality camera for this, so I only have 30. The other settings should be fine, so you can press done or close. Now, once again, I have to click on the camera and on the horizontal output, I'm gonna drag it down and I'm gonna center it perfectly. So I'm gonna right click transform and this time we're gonna center it vertically. You can see it's done that on the vertical output as well. So I'm just gonna click on it, drag it up and we're just gonna put it above our display capture like that. And I'm once again happy with the position now so i'm going to lock it into place and finally we're going to press the plus button click on alert box click on add source and you might have a lot of options for this i actually recommend that you configure these on streamlabs.com dashboard and then click on alert box but if you do want to configure them here you can just click through each one and configure i find that it's just easier to configure it on streamlabs.com dashboard so go ahead and just add the alert box and once again, we can click on it and position it where we want. For both of them, I'm just going to right click transform and center on screen. And as you can see, it's now perfectly centered on both canvases. So we'll lock it in place. Now, one final adjustment on the microphone. You can see just behind me, I'm clicking the settings cog. And unfortunately, it's bugged. It does bug out sometimes. Click on filters, edit filters and add a noise suppression filter. And the noise suppression filter is RN noise. So we're now ready to go live on anywhere from two to nine or 10 platforms. Just behind me, you can see there is a go live button. And of course, the more platforms you stream on, it gets a little bit more complicated. And usually the platforms that are causing complication is the vertical live streaming ones. So first of all, let's click show advanced settings at the bottom, because especially for YouTube, it's important that we configure all of these. For example, give yourself a thumbnail, 
Use a different title and description, give yourself a YouTube title and a description. And of course, I've kind of skipped ahead here. First, on the left hand side, you want to just check or uncheck the ones you want to stream on. And crucially, you want to make sure you've chosen vertical or horizontal on each of these. So, for example, if you just wanted to stream on YouTube Shorts, I've actually got both horizontal and vertical for YouTube. But if you just wanted to stream on YouTube Shorts, you would change your default option to vertical. Anyway, I've got all the major streaming platforms added here except for Kick. So, just to make this a complete guide, let's actually add Kick as well so under the stream i'm going to scroll down add destination and we'll just type in kick and then let's just quickly go through all the boring parts showing where to get the stream keys for different platforms so the kick stream key is kick.com slash dashboard slash settings slash stream kick's pretty simple that stream key never changes instagram's a bit more annoying make sure you have a professional account and then click create on the left click on live video Give yourself a title. I'm just going to choose practice, press next, and your stream key and server URL will appear momentarily. This stream key changes every time. So every time you go live on this page, you'll have to input it here. You will also for Instagram have to press this go live button in the top right corner and you should end it here as well. You may also have to mute your web browser. To get a TikTok live stream key, you need to apply for one through a free agency. I'll put this link in the description. And then just like Instagram, this stream key is gonna change every time. So you'll once again have to input it into the TikTok settings every time you go live. Luckily, unlike Instagram, you don't have to press another button, just input it and start the stream. And our final vertical platform that can cause confusion is YouTube Shorts. If you want to stream on both YouTube Shorts and YouTube Landscape at the same time, as I said earlier, choose the horizontal option against YouTube, and then you're going to have to add your own custom destination for YouTube Shorts. If you're just streaming on YouTube Shorts, just check the vertical mode. But let's say we're going live on both. Click Create in the top right corner. Click on Go Live. Schedule a stream in the top right. I'm going to reuse my settings. We're not too concerned about these settings, but you should obviously customize them. I'll just schedule it briefly into the future and press Done. And once this loads, what we're looking for is our stream key. You can either use the stream key that is provided here, or you can get a stable stream key by using either default stream key or create new stream key. You can see I've already made a vertical one. So I would just copy this stream key and this server URL. And as we mentioned, it's really only the vertical platforms that cause confusion and are more difficult to stream on. For the landscape platforms, including Facebook, Trovo, Twitch, and X, as well as landscape YouTube, Streamlabs will handle everything. No stream keys needed for those. Once you're happy, just press confirm and go live. And on the left hand side here, you'll see your chats for most things. You won't see Instagram live, you won't see TikTok live, and you won't see YouTube shorts unless you've just chosen YouTube shorts and you haven't chosen landscape YouTube as well. So again, it can get pretty complicated. That's just because it's so many different platforms at once. Once again, if you need a TikTok stream key, you can watch this video to learn more about it.